Hi darlings, how are you? This is gonna be from my Scorpios. And this is gonna be from the 18th to the 24th of June. I will be using my Cosmic Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using the Classic Tarot. So Scorpio, this is for you. The Two of Wands, standing firm. Oh, I like that. The Hermit, that's because you did some work within. The King of Wands, this might be a fire energy within your environment. This could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. The Lovers, I don't know what they have to do with love. The Seven of Swords. Somebody told you a lie. The Ten of Swords made you feel like this. The thoughts, the anger. But darling, don't you worry, you are the Empress, you are abundant. The Two of Swords, yes, yeah, somebody did lie, but you got a decision to make now. Don't let these feelings get you down, you hear me? Process them, feel them, understand or understand why you're feeling it and it's okay to feel this way. But breathe. You got this. Okay? Everything will work out. Life comes with its ups and downs. But it will work out. It might have something to do with the marriage or a committed relationship. Let's see. I'm going to say this is about a marriage. So let's see. On top of the two of ones comes the star card. Everything is going to come through. Don't you worry. Keep the hope, keep the faith. All your dreams are coming true. Everyone. I got the star card. 
This ha started happening really, really fast. It came with a quick speed, this feeling, you know, this firmness. And the Queen of Wands, this is a fire energy. This could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. I got the King of Wands here. This person came in with a passion. Or maybe you just found your confidence and courage. But for some reason, I feel that's the uh, energy there. Hmm. You went within. You did some soul searching. I got the two of cups here. It has something to do with unified love. Partnership, mutual attraction. Open your heart and receive the love from others. Somebody from the past came back. The Six of Cups. The Page of Wands. You're having some ideas here. You've been waiting. You got your eye on your goals and you're enjoying every moment of it. You're waiting for it to come. It's there. There's love from the past that came through. It came through real fast. I would say this was an energy of a fire energy. A Leo, a Aries, or a Sagittarius. And I'm going to stick with that. Hopefully. And then we got the five of wands here. It caused some conflict when this energy came in. Some conflict. Some conflict started. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And you decided, you know what? I'm going to cut my losses. I'm leaving everything behind. I'm walking away either from the current situation or from the past situation that came in. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. There was a third person involved. There was a third person involved. This broke your heart. The card says, Better to know the truth than to live a lie. And the lovers. You plant the seed. You will have sustainable results. Looking back on what you have achieved gives you the learning to set your goal, your goals. Gives you what you need to set your goals. The Seven of Pentacles. You planted something where love was concerned, and you begin and began. You got the fool. And the Three of Wands, things are in progress. You're preparing. Just take action, find your inspiration. You got a new beginning here. Things are moving forward. And then the Seven of Swords, there's a lie. Or maybe you're stuck on the betrayal from the past. And it's still in your head. You know, you're still quite angry. And that's fine to be angry. All right. Whatever emotion you're feeling, it's fine. Just breathe. Everything will work out. You got the ten of pentacles your new beginning 
you're gonna overcome this lie and the way the, the way you felt or the way you feel or the baggage that you're bringing with you. Okay, you're gonna do a little bit of healing. You got the Ten of Pentacles here. You came into some money. Everything has come to fruition in your life and you have experienced many different stages. So you've been through quite a bit. The Ten of Pentacles, you have enough to take care of you and your family. Or maybe this is some unexpected money that you came into. And the Queen of Swords. This could be an air energy within your environment. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or the card says, your clear communication allows you to express what's best for everyone. So maybe you're thinking about communicating to someone. Just make sure you express it in a way that's best for everyone. But whatever it is, whatever communication, I think you want to communicate something about the past. And you're... Come on now, why is this happening, Mr. That's better. Okay. So, you having anxiety and worry about it, You this is really worrying you. This is really on you. The card says, worry can get out of control, but it changes nothing. You just need to heal yourself. You don't need to communicate with nobody. You just got to face what happened. You got to get out of your head. Face your anger. Remember, anger is a reflection of self. Take a deep breath. Learn to meditate and go within and truly find yourself. Go visit that pain. Stay with it a little while. And then let it go. It is possible. It is possible. I'm going to post the video. I made it the other day and I've been thinking, well, meditating on it, whether I should post it or not. And I think I, it's time I post it. So I'm going to post it. So on top of the Ten of Swords is the King of Wands. This fire energy came in. This fire energy came in. This Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius came in. It came in with some romantic proposals. I don't know if they were the third party. I don't know, you know, but... Somebody was a fire energy. Somebody came in. Somebody approached somebody first. I don't think it was you. However, the way you feel right now about, you know, with all these thoughts and this anger and, you know, overthinking and overthinking and overthinking, tying yourself up in your head, everything will be fine, okay? You will be able to come out of that feeling. You're going to start healing. You don't have to communicate nothing to anyone. Not about that. You can't change no one. Nothing will change in the situation. Leave it alone. Pick up your pieces. You got this. You got this. So then, like I said, you got this. This is the Empress. And two cards fell out. Um, the first one is the Seven of Pentacles. Is it the Seven or Eight? The Eight of the Eight of Pentacles. So you're working very passionately on something. Something that will bring you balance. Um, if this is something legal, most likely it may come in your favor. Whatever the decision is going to be, it will be fair and balanced. Okay. Now this could also signify some kind of unified love or partnership. Some kind of connection. Use your intuition. 
So it's one of them, you know, I don't know. It could be love, it could be something legal because of the situation. Or maybe there's some love, new love coming in for you. But you're working very hard. You hear my, you hear the birds? <laughs> you're working very hard on um, something. Something that's going to bring in some money. Eight of Pentacles and the Justice card. And with that, it'll you will have abundance. And you will find balance. Just have faith in yourself. Do it with love. Start loving you. You'll be amazed. Start taking care of this physical body in the sense of what you eat and things like that. Just don't go and exercise and too hard or nothing. Just go for a walk. Do light, light stuff, nothing heavy, you know, go for a walk, listen to the birds, you're going to start to feel better. So two of swords, on top of the two of swords, this betrayal, this lie, um, it gave you the mindset of lack, it got you a lot in your head, uh, made you lose faith gave you worry you felt defeated but this didn't last long okay this is just temporary and as you notice it's already in the past because darling you got the ace of cups here open your heart and receive the emotions around you Receive the love that you desire for yourself to come to you. Ace of Cups is a lot of love. It's about creativity, new feelings. It's about celebrating. The Three of Cups, there'll be some kind of celebration. So although you're going to you know, probably slip back into that little mindset of lack there or maybe lose just a little bit of money or something it's not gonna be long or it's not gonna be terrible you just gotta get out you're gonna find a way and you're gonna bring yourself out of that feeling and you're gonna start enjoying life and feel revitalized all right and like i said i think this has to do with a marriage or a committed relationship got the king of swords there's the queen of swords up here um the card says you think things through from all perspectives now this could be an energy in your environment this could be the gemini libra the aquarius Need to start using logic, maybe. Start thinking clearly about the communication. Your heart is going to heal and you will be able to think clearly. You will have mental clarity. That's what I am going to say. However, I got the Five of Swords and um, let me see what's the other card here and I will say the Chariot, well not I will say the Chariot, the Chariot is here. Whatever happened where this marriage is concerned, I think It's over. Wow. But no matter what, you have new beginnings coming, new opportunities. And you 
venture. Okay, you don't give up. I love you. You take care of yourselves and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.